Okay, so today uh, we're going to be looking at making a small project, something that I'm getting my grade 8 students to do. So currently my grade 8s are working on cars like these, but some of them are almost done. So to keep them busy for the next couple days, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of cherry and we're going to turn it into a little referee's whistle. So these are quite functional and depending on how well you make them, they do sound quite well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and see what this looks like when we're done. It's pretty easy and pretty quick. Just the biggest thing is getting all the angles and stuff inside to the proper uh, distance so that it can make a whistle sound. So now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna make it a little bit more rectangular. So we're just gonna roughly square it up, draw some lines on here, and then we're gonna take it back to the bandsaw and we're going to clean this up a bit. So we're only gonna need so much of the actual log itself. So we'll cut off this side. So we're only gonna be using this much of the piece of wood to make our whistle. Okay, so now that we've got our pieces cut out, uh, we're going to look at the middle piece. So with the middle piece, what we're gonna use is a one inch Forzner bit and kind of roughly in the middle, maybe a little bit higher up, we're going to drill a hole in our block of wood. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space right here so that I can later drill a hole for a lanyard. So I'm just going to use this, mark that hole there. So right here, I'm going to use this and drill a hole. Okay, these next set of lines are a little more important. Okay, so right at the top here, I'm gonna draw a line straight up and down at the top of the circle that we drilled. And then at somewhat of a steep angle, like this, I'm gonna draw a line that comes out. And then where this connects to our circle, we're gonna go down a little bit so it looks something like this. And then we are going to draw a line that comes out straight across because this is gonna create the air channel that we blow into. So we're gonna be essentially blowing into this. The air is gonna go in and out and that's what's gonna create our whistle sound. And now I also have to draw a line right where this connects our hole here. I'm gonna draw this straight up. So everything looks like this so far. So now the part here that I'm shading in is gonna get cut out. So we're gonna either go to a scroll saw or a bandsaw. We're gonna cut this line here first, then this line so that this piece pops off. And then we're gonna cut along this line here. But we need to make sure we keep this piece that comes off. And then from there we can assemble it together and do a dry fit and see if it actually works and sounds like a whistle. All right, so now that we have it cut out and it looks like this, we can take our pieces and we can clamp them together and adjust this top piece and then see if we can get it to whistle. If it whistles, then we know we did it right. So let's see how it goes. repositioning it a little bit. All right, so now it's just a matter of tinkering with it and getting it glued so that it makes the loudest whistle possible 
and then after it's glued, we can go back to the scroll saw or the bandsaw and then cut the profile to make it look like a referee's whistle. All right, now this is my least favorite part because I usually end up with a bit of glue in my mouth on this part. So we need to now clamp it and readjust it. All right, so it just needs to dry and we're good to go. We'll test it one more time. All right, you know what whistles? Get that clamp back on. And then it's just a matter of letting that dry and then we can cut it out tomorrow. Okay, so now that we have our whistle glued together, now we need to draw the profile for our whistle. So first, I wanna take a pencil and just push down inside. And see it goes about there. So that's how deep our hole is. And from before, we know we were using a one inch Horsner bit. So this goes one inch up, so right here. Gonna draw a line down here and just mark the halfway point. And then draw a little cross that's an inch. So now I know that my circle with the Forzner bit that I drilled up is gonna be roughly this size. Okay, so I need to make sure my whistle goes around this with enough room so it still has some structural integrity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it this big. Draw this out. And then we're gonna make this look like a referee's whistle. Except for the back portion here, I'm going to leave some extra room so I can drill a hole for a lanyard. Probably about there. Like that. So some rough shape like this, which we can then clean up on the sanders and when we cut it out on the scroll saw or the band saw. So this little referee's whistle is a fun project to build and for me at least uh, I can use it right away. Uh, I coach basketball and volleyball so having one of these at hand is going to be uh, pretty handy. I already have one but uh, much better when you can make it yourself. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel and 
I'll hopefully build some more things in the future. That sounds really good. I like it.